Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Sunless Seas. In the last episode we burned down Hunter's Keep. Let's be honest, it was quite an eventful episode. And we also started the... Oh, Tyler's mechanic? Is that his name? Hmm, I've forgotten his name. But somebody in the comments was kind enough to tell me where to look to see his next objective. It has been broken down here. The mechanic's secret in Frostfound. Find Frostfound in the north. We know where that is. Retrieve the mechanic's secret from the penultimate chamber. I had to hide the secret somewhere. The figure kings couldn't go. I hope they leave me alone then. So I put it in Frostfound. Not the very heart of Frostfound. Not insane. But um, quite close to the heart. That does not sound fun. Uh, we also have the materials for the impeller. Take one element of dawn, one casket of sapphires, and 40 units of Stygian ivory, along with the mechanic secret and the unsettling sage to King Eater's castle. We know what that is as well. We're getting 40 Stygian ivory could be an issue. Uh, I think there's a third one, maybe? Uh, oh, maybe that's why I was keeping hold of those pieces of Stygian ivory that I sold in the last episode. Oh, well. Yeah, okay. Well, they're the two things. That, no, I'm not going to worry about those right now. But another thing I've been told is uh, that mirror catch box. I can sell it, which right now is not the best choice, because we can also give it to the curator in Vendor Blight. So I think I'm going to head off to Vendor Blight, since it's just up here. Oops. Yeah, it's just up here. It's not very far to go. I think we'll have enough fuel and things. And we'll give it... Whoops. Knock something over on my desk. How clumsy. Uh, I'll give it to the curator and we'll see what reward we get. Then we will re-center re ourselves and work out what we can do. I know that we still have to drop, drop off that man at Port Cecil. I never did that. What are you? You are a small ship. Let's fight you. Uh oh, uh oh, he's gonna beat on us. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> uh, that was uh, that was efficient. Luton Scuttler, Cash of Curiosities, a bolt of fabric. Well, you know, we can sell that for some money. We'll help pay for our fuel expenses of all this driving around or floating around or sailing around, I suppose. I'm trying to think of the correct terminology. I don't know what reward we get for the giving this to the curator, but I really should make it like pay attention to what he needs. I thought he was after colours. This doesn't seem like a colour, but uh, apparently we can repeat that finger, the boxes of finger kings, uh, and sell them for a small profit. But I don't think it's it's probably not worthwhile. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I mean, it's, it's worthwhile if we're going that way, I suppose, and we have the spare echoes. Here is a vendor blight. Let's do. Oh, we get a lot of money. Because I like money. I need a bigger ship. Especially if we need to transport 40 Stygian ivory. Like, how, how the God's name? Where are we even going to get 40 Stygian ivory from? That's the real question. Uh, okay. The Tomb Colony on Vendor Blight. Visit the first curator. Oh, it is indeed. Unlocked with one a page from the Neathbow, Viric. Oh, my, my, my! They are cross. They won't stay in prison long, but longer than I will. It becomes motionless for so long that you wonder if it. It is finally, truly dead. At last, it expels a rattling breath and points wordlessly at a cloisonne mask on a trophy stand, half visible in the gloom. Elder continent, it wheezes, made within sight of the mountain. Wear it and think of me. Oh, we got a captivating treasure. We now have two of those. Well, that sounds, that is indeed useful. Okay. We've done Viric. So now what we need is Violent and all the other colours. 
Hedigan, Irigo, Gant. I wonder if Gant is at the Gant pole. We still need to go there. Hmm, okay. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Curator. Now, we picked up the bandaged, or the scarred sister, and apparently she has a mission, so let's speak to her. She's usually in the sick bay, or up on deck, listening to the wind, watching for the rare storms of the Untersea. Oh dear. I can invite her to talk to me. Let's go back to London and buy some more food first. The last thing I want to do is uh, use my food up here and then end up having to eat people. Because that would be funny, but it wouldn't be good for the crew. You know, I'd, I'd rather not worry about it, plus London's just down here. We used up a lot of our supplies in the last episode, obviously when we had to... Well, we had the luck of breaking into Hunter's Keep and then burning it down and then using the supplies to excavate the basement. I am curious, though. Oh, who's that? That's a friendly ship. Let's not blow it up. I wonder if more friendly ships turn up. Uh oh, if you kill more pirates. I wonder if it, I wonder if that's even remotely coded into the game. Somehow I doubt it, but you never know. I've seen weirder things in video games. That's for sure. Rat right, supplies. That's not good. Uh, into the pot? Yay! You got one supplies. Wonderful. That kind of covers the uh, that covers the journey back to London. Go back to Lobana at some point. In fact, I need to just go back to everywhere I've been to see if I've missed anything. I'm trying to focus down on some of the missions, but some of them have such bizarre uh, requirements. I it's, it's, I've no idea where to even start with them. Like I said, we'll, do, we'll, we'll talk to the Scarred Sister. We'll see if she has anything we need to do. We still need to do the Cladriere. I expected to see more of her things pop up on islands, but obviously I need to go back to some of the islands I've already been to. Uh-oh. Desperate measures. No, it's fine. Don't worry about me. Without fuel, your ship is just an oddly shaped house located somewhere inconvenient. I love that so much. Here we feed the crew, and we made it back to London. Let message from the harbour master. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's deliver what's left of the clay men. This is where they wanted to be, or at least where they're supposed to be. One by one, they rise uncomplainingly with no trace of stiffness or discomfort from the long voyage. The deck resounds beneath their heavy tread. A shroomyard manager waits on the dock, tapping her foot. About time, she says. Here's your payment. Come along now, you. There's a good construct. Easy enough. I hire just one more crew member. <sighs> hmm. The Genteel Magician. Wow, that sounds cool. I just want one Zayla. Yeah, thanks. I just want to fill up my... <laughs> I just want to fill up my ship. There is, so there is more uh, officers I don't have, apparently. So maybe we should look at getting those at some point. But let's go to London. Oh, wait, no. I want to go to my house. Lodgings. There we go. Good time with my family. Just enjoy their company. There's 20 Terra. Perfect. Uh, oh god, I'm still starting to think that I'm going to have to start buying some of these live specimens, but 500 Echoes is so much! It's so expensive. Uh, let's buy fuel and food. I'm going to use that food now to speak to the officer. Scarred sister. Let's invite her to dine with you and ask her to talk about what happened at Hunter's Keep. You broach the subject halfway through the cook's starter. Without a word, he pushes her plate away, stands, and leaves. Well, that didn't... 
Can I put the supplies back in the box? No, guess not. Uh, okay, let's invite her to dine with you and talk about storms, I guess? I wanted us to move to Hunter's Keep, she confesses, because I had a romantic notion about storms. The funny thing is, the notion turned out right. You know that Zaylers talk about the god in the roof? He's real. I used to hear him in my dreams. She leans closer, behind the bandages, in the lamplight. Her eyes are dark as ink. He's terribly cross. Okay. Well, we've done both. That's, that, that's kind of all we can do. Uh, I'm going to have to buy two new, new supplies now, aren't I? Uh, do we have any of our port reports here? We need to repair the ship as well, don't we? Let's do that. Admiralty Yards. There we go. Nice and repaired. Oops. God, what have I done? There we go. Do we have any port reports to give in? Tiger's Morn. 30 Echoes, 1 Fuel. Godfall. 30 Echoes, 1 Fuel. Hunters Keep's End. I trust the sisters are keeping well. They are citizens of her enduring majesty's notion. Notion. <laughs> notionality. Open shock. This is ghastly news. The poor girls. We had warned them they weren't safe. But it had been so long, I thought, well... Ah, it's done. Thank you. I'll have to look into the matter of a supply post. Hmm, okay. Holothreme? Fifty echoes, one fuel. The Khan's shadow? Oh, these are always fun. Come on, let's hear it. I love the fact that other officials gather around to hear your tales of bloodshed, debauchery. <laughs> it's so good. We lost five terror. 30 echoes, one fuel. I think that's it. Is there anything particular they need? Uh, this pause. Speak with our agent here and see what you're... Uh, we want to go to... Empire of Hands? That is a place I don't recognize, guys. Empire of Hands. Let me just quickly write that down. There. Of Hands. Is that like Polythreme's The Empire of Eyes? I don't know. I need to get those three romantic literatures for Rosegate. And find the Gant Pool. Okay. So, what do we actually have that we can focus in on? Or we can just go and, well, explore. What's the word I was after? Hmm. Oh, we could speak to some of our people. It's a nuncio? We haven't been there for a while. Hmm. What have we got here? We could take them out to the salt lines, but we need salt's attention. We don't have that. We have stone's attention somehow. Uh... Find rack, get weed, go to Utter Shroom. That's still one of my favourite things I've written down in this book. Don't need to find Scrim Shanda. Need 50 mirrors to enter Frostfound. We don't have 50 mirrors, do we? No, we have 45, which means we'd have to increase our mirrors by 5 if we want to actually continue with the other quest. Uh, other than that... Okay. Guess that means I am actually of the opinion that we should go and explore some places. So for that, if that's the case, I am going to buy quite a lot of supplies. I'll, I'll round us out at 10 fuel. And I think we'll just head in a direction. 
Where have we not been? I'm going to go to Port Cecil. I think that's going to be my goal here. We'll go to Port Cecil. We'll stop off at Nuncio on the way. It'll be a long, perilous journey. I'm sure it'll be fun. Hopefully it will be peril-less, rather than full of peril. That would be problematic. I really, really, really should use my secrets to upgrade my skills. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do it. But oh well. You guys know what I'm like at this point. I could at least round out my irons, mirrors, to like the next ten. Like 60 irons, uh, 50 mirrors, you know. Uh, we can't do veils apparently, which is annoying, because that's the lowest stat I have, which kind of makes me feel like I should have started with high veils and then everything else I could boost. Ages and hearts, we have really high hearts. You know our irons isn't that far behind. I'm guessing that's because the, uh, the cannoneer is boosting us by eight, which is a lot. Just how many secrets do we actually have? I have no idea. <laughs> there must be a place to look somewhere. Oh, it's a big crab. What was that down here? There was like a big crab here, which I'm, I'm going to kill, by the way. Battle stations! I've killed you once before, I will do it again. All batteries, open fire! Uh-oh. Uh oh. Hey. Oh no! He's diving! Dive! 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 Fire! Shoot it! We got it. It's fine. No panic. <laughs> Last time we got like loads of supplies, didn't we, from killing this thing? Uh, dissect it for knowledge. You'll butcher it for supplies and occasional, occasionally other oddities. And un. Prepossessing mass. So we gained one supply, which is not bad. What are we going to get here? That's suitable for smoking. Let, let's try. It will serve, but the smoke brings a kind of horror, a waking dream. A kinesthetic sense of vast things coiling and crushing a lightless black. One terror, but we got one supply, so one terror for one supply is really good. You will be going past Geiger's Morn. Really should do a better job of trying to, uh... Actually, you know what? Let's go underwater. Let's see if we can find anything interesting underwater while we're going this way anyway. And our terror's low, which means we won't get jumped by the nasty thing. This is going to use more fuel, though, I will admit. Which is kind of annoying, but... Eh. might find something cool. Like, like whatever this is. Eh? Huh? Buried in a reef of deadly stuff, that's for sure. Right, let's sneak around the bottom going through here. Hmm. Never seem to be able to interact with this thing. Maybe it's important to something else. Shame. Waste of fuel. Hmm. I expected more things down here. We're still looking for a log, a log book from a wrecked ship. Oh. That was down here, I believe. And it's, inside, it's nested inside another one of these. Ooh, hello. I'm just going to go straight through it and hope for the best. A wreck! At least it wasn't a wreck ship. You know, like that thing that jumped us before. The wreck waits below a dark shape in the dark water. What caused it to sink? And does anything salvageable remain? The cargo hold is intact. Perishables will have spoiled, but preserved supplies may endure. The hold 
is a wretched, half-collapsed thing, shattered beams and floating debris. Your navigator helps you move a spar of fallen steel, uncovering sealed boxes. They contain heavily salted biscuits, hard tack, preservatives, and lard. Uh, that's kind of a eh. I would have rathered... Fuel, <laughs> to be honest. Where am I going? I want to go to Port Cecil. I am definitely going the wrong way right now. Oh well. I still love the fact that music sounds different underwater. <laughs> it's, it's a little thing that, that changes the atmosphere, like, considerably. Where are we going right now? The bottom of Khan's heart. I need to cross back over this stream. Something resonated back. At least I think it's over here. It's weird how we can see this, huh? No, maybe not. How much air do we have left? 37%. Okay, we're going to have to surface in a minute. Right next to the Khan's Ha Shadow. Oh, the Khan's Ha, even. I was right the first time. Ah, right, back up we go. Oh, we found a wreck. Didn't get a logbook, but you know. It was worth a little exploration under the sea. R reminder, don't attack the Carnot. They already hate us. I I still need to im like what's that? Is that the is that a crack pirate frigate? Because I will I will attack that. It is. Oi oi, Gavna You got any fuel on you? After some RNG here. Missed. Damn it. Got cheeky. Paid for it. You've destroyed a pirate frigate and the ship is yours. Luke's got uh, what we got. Yay! Two fuel. That's good. That's good. And two supplies is even better. And tap the bung. Some sort of barrel. It's a cask of wine. In the flaring light, it's Z dark. But the taste is the darkness of autumn. Mushroom wine. An acquired taste, perhaps. But once you've acquired it, you'd go back to grapes. Nasty little bubbles of goo. Grapes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I can't say I'm a huge fan of wine, uh, in real life, at all. And the idea of mushroom wine, as a man who hates mushrooms, is even more repulsive. <laughs> Wait, is this Geiger's Born? Okay. I didn't do a very good job of stopping at all the places I said I was going to stop, but... It'll be fine. Still need to look at getting the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, concealed compartments. Improve my smuggling chances. But I, th I think I needed an aft. I need an aft in the ship, didn't I? And I don't have that. Hey, he, it's the kind of music. <laughs> I love this music so much. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it every single time. That's another thing. I keep mentioning this Mask of uh, the Roses game that Fail Better have announced on Kickstarter. And uh, one of the main things that interests me, like more than the game, which is a bit sad, is the music they're going to make. Because I really like the music in Sunless Seas, like a lot. And I'd, I'd hope. Sunless Skies is a bit boring in comparison. Like, it's, it's great. It's got like one or two good. Oh, it's got like more like three or four or five. Five good tracks. Whereas, like, the whole of Sunless Seas has good music. Port Sessler's just over here. And I'm hoping that, like, uh, the Mask of the Roses has really good music. I think it would, like, add to the amount of music that I have to use for things. 
Uh oh, fog bank. That's not good. Well, we're going under, guys. Refill the oxygen tanks, lads. We're going under. Let's hope there ain't a bloody walkie great big hole. Oh god, I forgot about that thing. So, uh, not a hole, even. Uh, wall. I said there was a walking great big hole. I said it was a creature and people live in it. Get back there at some point. I'm very good at repeating, like going back to the same places over and over and over again. That place scares me though, because he talked about filling my uh, lungs up with water. I feel like that's a that's a catastrophic problem that I'm going to have to face at some point. Let's pour Cecil now. Ooh, a current. I wonder where that goes. I'm curious. It just goes off in that direction. Up, up here. A couple of lights, maybe? Oh, I didn't actually want to go that way. Thanks for trying, though. <laughs> oh, Cecil. I've gone the wrong way. This music is also amazing. <laughs> I do distinctly remember at the start when I first started recording Sun and Seas, I was like, I really like this music. So it was like, wait till you get to the right hand side of the map. And I was like, oh, whoa, oh no. What's this? Uh, the battle stations. Ow. Bugger off. Oh. Eh, eh. Keep shooting. Keep shooting, lads. Ow. Bugger. It really hurts. <sighs> Damn me. It's an ugly thing. Even uglier dead than alive. Friendlier, though. Wait, rescue a new Jonah? Wait. That, that's one of our things for the tomb colonists, really? The eel's gut twitches. So they're alive in there. Slice it open. A bandage wrapped fellow clambers out of the slit. Well, they were bandages before they were steeped for weeks in the internal juices of an eel. Now the effect is more like a kind of roll mop. Lingueen. Does wonders for my complexion, he remarks, squelchingly. But I suppose it's time to go. Could you drop me off a vendor blight? You, my friend, are nuts. Out of all of the things that were going to happen when I killed that blooming eel, that was not one of them. <laughs> hey, look. I was eating a ship. That can't be good. It'd be really funny if I've already dropped the guy off and I just forgot that I did it. Because I didn't write it on my boat. No, no, good. <laughs> Dro drop off the checkered character. He waits eagerly by the rail. He lifts his head to inhale. I can already smell the chess, he announces. He says, oh, thank you, farewell. He says neither, neither of these things. He drops a sweaty bundle of banknotes in your hand and hairs off up the hill, fingers twitching to begin a game. Game players. Eh. Hey, at least we got a hundred echoes. Right, what can, what can we do while we're here? An extra move? Just gather intelligence while we're here. Uh, the older inhabitants of Port Cecil carry coral incrustations like a disease, splotched with silvery light. They like to go up into the limestone heights behind the harbour to lay their heads against the pillars and towers, stare at the roof of the neath, dream open-eyed, 
Sometimes they speak of things far away, the Carnet's work, the Smuggler Wars, the Fathom King's secrets. Perhaps it's not all invented. Hmm, you reached crossroads in Port Cecil, a voice whispers pawn to Bishop Six. A rearing shape the size of a cottage, rather like a mitred bishop indeed, stands six yards to your right. A crevice in the coral side might be a cave mouth. Oh, I didn't want to come here. No, thank you. Goodbye. Sorry. Forgot about that place. Let's explore the coral knoll around Port Cecil. Sea laps dark around silvery coral. Coral? Coral. Humps and columns rise from the coral. A bewildering maze. Go carefully. Uh-oh. It's the little things. The click of a sliding stone where there should be silence. A motion in the shadows. As if they were thick, stirred like ink. A lull in the cries of the Z-Bats. Something is watching you. Drawing closer, hour by hour. You and your crew... Draw back to back, watching the darkness. 26% let, let's go. It has stealth, but you have rifles. All you need is a clear shot and you'll earn yourself a trophy. Eh? Bucker. One of your crew strays too far from the group. You never know why. You don't know it's happened until you hear him cry out. As your crew rushes to assist, there's another cry from behind you. Another Zayla vanishes into the darkness. You glimpse a writhing coil of limbs and the glitter of eyes. The beast is gone. The beasts. There must be at least two of them. Who knows how many more. You retreat with haste to the ship, eyes wide. Though you see nothing more of the predators, perhaps their hunger is satisfied. Well, there goes two more crew members. He's got a tell a terror out of it. <laughs> and with that calamity it's time for me to end the episode thank you very much for watching please like subscribe let me know what you think your comments are greatly appreciated and as always I'll see you next time